inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. All right, y'all, what it do, Ski? Welcome, everybody, to the podcast. I am exceptionally excited because you all know what time it is. Okay, all of you may not know, but before I get into today's podcast episode, it's almost time for my summit And the theme is no more trauma. And I have been having such a wonderful time as I've been getting things together and connecting with the speakers. You all are in for a treat in December. But anywho, there are so many different things I could talk about. And I wanted to talk about releasing a client, but not on bad terms, on a good, on good terms. Now, Back in the day when I first started this uh, podcast, if you search it, I did do an episode called Firing a Client uh, that uh, I think I might even call it Firing a Client when it seems like the universe gave them to you or something like that. But that's not the situation. You know, during the pandemic, it's easy to make decisions from a financial space. And it's like, if that financial need is great, sometimes you may justify or emphasize why you should do something, but you've got to learn not to just do anything and everything for some money. And so in the industry that I'm in, you know, it takes a lot of integrity to release a client and let them go. Now, what do I mean by that? A lot of you, you're in the same realm as me. You do a lot of mindset work. It's not just strategy and procedure. And so a lot of people, they technically can get addicted to your mind. They can get addicted to the way that you process information. And the whole point about coaching for me is to develop a person to get them their ultimate desire and then send them on their way and spread their wings. Even though I could want to coach you forever, we all need different coaches at different times for different reasons. And so I had one client and it's crazy because some stuff had come up. Now, mind you, her business was still doing good. She was a good steward over everything, but her entire life got turned upside down. You know, the kind of things that can turn your life upside down, like the death of a loved one. And so your disposable income now becomes money to support them or pay for nursing. You could literally end up getting a divorce and having to start all over because your spouse is an asshole and you have the kids. And so even though you may be thrusting and thriving, you could still have some stuff come up where if you're a responsible adult, you're going to question, hmm, is this how I should invest? Well, she came to me and she was going to make it work no matter what. And she was like, oh my God, you know, 
what do you think? You know, I, do you think I still need to work with you? And it had been, it had been a quite a few years. And I said, you know what? I'm going to be really honest with you. You don't need me. I told her, I said, now let's not get it twisted. Here are your areas of weakness. You know, this is how you don't stand in your power. This is when you second guess yourself. This is when you begin to fall off and wane and have to, you know, reinvigorate yourself and start over. Yeah, I can call you out on some shit. I said, but those things, you know them yourself. And so you have to make a decision. You're either going to, you know, piss or get off the pot and handle things and deal with those issues and do what I've taught you and be in your own mind and encourage yourself, or you're going to continue to put yourself under what could potentially turn into a financial strain and pay me just to tell you what the fuck you need to do. So we're basically kind of going almost out of the coaching relationship to a cheerleading relationship. You know, don't get me wrong. There's still mindset work. But when a person knows at some point you have to be like, look, I'm pushing you out the nest. You're either going to flap your wings and fly or you're not. You know, but I told I said, you know, you I can always give you more. The question is, is do you need that level of more? And so. I was like, you know what you need to do and you know how to make money. And I have watched this woman, even during the pandemic, the way that she has moved, the contract she's signed, the money that she's bringing in. She has a full client roster. She's negotiated contracts just shy of five figures just for speaking. And she's even you know, been able to pay other people and say, oh, I'll bring you in as a speaker at my event and so on and so forth. And so when I just look at her, I'm very grateful and I'm honored to know that I I played a part in that season of her life. But here's the thing. We're always evolving. And this is why you guys cannot be afraid and believe that, oh my God, you know, I don't want to let these people go. Because you need to meet new people, do new things, and elevate and expand as well. And so as some things changed in my business, there's some revelations that I got and there's some other facets, excuse me, there's some other facets of my business that now I am able to hire, I'm able to have her as a client again. And so she participates and she still, you know, attends my events and she's a different type of client for a different type of program, you know, that's coming up in the future. And I wasn't creating the program thinking about how I could woo her or wheel her in. The universe brought her right back to me because she is still a part of my tribe. She is still very much, she's someone I'm close to. I do develop some pretty nice and intimate connections with my followers, not even all that are clients, but just with people that are just good people. And so anywho, when it's all said and done, then I'm, she's still someone that, um, that still works with me. So I know that you're going to try everything that you can to make sure that you get paid no matter what, but just make sure, especially in a time like this in the pandemic, that you're not manipulating shit abundance is still out there. Money is still available to be made. It's just that many of you haven't recognized how you need to pivot. And I know you prefer to do things offline. And I know you don't prefer, you don't really like doing things online. But I'm going to tell you, you can create such phenomenal experiences online. But while you keep on saying it ain't you and it ain't what you want to do, the world is changing and it is about to be a new warm, new norm. I'm not saying that the pandemic isn't going anywhere forever. Yeah, as far as being around other people, hopefully we'll get back to that type of normal. But when will that be? Think about how long they're talking about vaccines coming. Think about the stuff that they're saying in reference to more cases. You know, they are changing the game. They're changing the laws. They're changing the rules. And you have to realize that we actually here, we live with a very corrupt system. And it is about taking away, you know, liberties that we have so that we are more easily controlled in the system. And so, you know what? Uh, social distancing and um, the cramping our style publicly, that actually may be a new norm. And so if you were thriving off of live events, what is that going to look like for you now? 
just just another random question. So anywho, don't be afraid to let a client go. Be real with them no matter how much you may want to make sure you retain them. And even if they're still willing to pay you, have some honor and let them know it's time for them to spread their wings and fly. Okay? I love you guys. Stay tuned. Uh, I got surprises for you all starting next week as well. Not only will I be keeping you updated on all of the stuff from the No Trauma Summit and giving you amazing podcast episodes, but we've got some sponsors that are going to start airing next week. Yay. Okay. So let's see what other kind of business women and or men that I'll be collaborating with to help get the word out on the street about their phenomenal businesses. All right. Love you guys. I'm Audi Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you.